He was commander of the Continental Army, first president of the United States, and his face is on the dollar bill. But what about Spymaster? During the American Revolution, George Washington went by another name, Agent 711. When he wasn't leading troops into battle, behind the scenes, Washington pulled the strings of a network of revolutionary war spies known as the Culper Ring. Brave men and women who put their lives on the line to help get the best information to Washington so that he could defeat the British. It was 1778, and the British had a strong base in New York City. How could the Patriots defeat the strongest military in the world? Washington knew that to get the edge on the British, he needed to anticipate rather than react to their moves. He needed intelligence. And for that, he went to Benjamin Talmadge, a charismatic 24-year-old major turned spy. In the space of weeks, Talmadge assembled an unassuming team of spies, trusted friends and locals from New York and Long Island employing a range of sophisticated methods to collect and pass intelligence to Washington. Talmadge's team of agents used invisible ink, codes, secret signals, and disinformation to gather timely and accurate intelligence. In the space of just a few years, the Culper spy ring uncovered a plan for the British Army to ambush newly arrived French troops and helped to expose Continental Army Major General Benedict Arnold as a traitor to the revolutionary cause. Most importantly, the intelligence provided on the strength and movements of British forces gave Washington the advantage he needed to retake New York City and ultimately win the war. As British Major George Beckwith later admitted, Washington did not really outfight the British. He simply outspied us. Why do you think it was important for Washington to have spies? 